All right, everybody, welcome back, and now it's time for part four of the Fence Project Superior, the whole combine mode. So we're going to take Silver Bolt and get him to combine mode and attach him to the other pieces which are on the side ready. If you want to see those, just click back on a video and move it that back. So, let's get it started. Uh, first things first, uh, let's take the toes here and the heels and just plug them back in. Rotate these up to the side so just lift them up and slide them. And so you just want to slide them up a bit. A little tricky, but slide them up, come up, slide up. You want to just slide this whole piece up. There we go. Yeah, so sort of slide that there. There we go. Now we got his uh, legs ready. Now come to the top here and take the head and rotate it all the way around. And lift these sections back up. And put that piece back. Let's raise the chest there for a while. And, uh, yeah, alright. Now, take these pieces here. Now, originally, if you didn't have that shape with these pieces, you might, you know, the instruction said to leave them like this, and that sort of helped, uh, look and make him look like he was filled, but we don't need to, to do that anymore, so you just fold those there like that. i take the arms, and uh, I'm going to rotate this section of the arm there, the forearm, like so, and sort of rotate this backwards, that whole shoulder section, and then peg the arm here on, like there, the hand right there, that sort of holds that in place, and repeat with the other arm, so just twist that, and peg it in. And so just move this aside. Now, what you're supposed to do is that you take this piece here and you peg it there and there's that. But look! It doesn't really peg all that well. And because of that, a lot of superions like would slouch over with the weight of the arms and everything else. And this is where that shape waist piece really comes in handy. So, take the, put out the landing gear, you take the piece and you put it in there, and notice how it just fills that whole section out. Fills it out, and you just, there. Now it connects proudly, and this piece here, you can get it from a website called Shapeways, they make 3D designs of things. This one is from a designer named Process, and this is version 4. Version, the difference between the versions are version 1 just fills out the stomach, but it doesn't allow the legs to move at all because of it goes all the way to the bottom there and just doesn't allow them to move. Version 2 has the molded thrusters and allows you to hook it up to the jet, so that way you know you can also store it in jet mode. Version 3 is basically like version 1, but it has these pieces cut out to the side so you can move the legs a bit. And version 4, which you see here, basically combines the benefits of everything. So you have the articulation for the legs and the jet mode. And they all fill out the stomach nicely. And uh, you want to come here and open this section here and pull out the head. Rotate the head and close that and rotate it around. And there you have the superion head. I love these horn things on the side. Looks very badass, almost Viking-like. Now, the fans projects that came with, like, two visors you could add, but I wasn't too big on those. I sort of just left the add as is. So there you have the uh, main section there. Now let's get it connected. So, we'll start off with the fire flight. You know, just take it there. There. I got him in. Let's put that to the side. And Repeat with skydive. Now that was easier. Alright. Yeah. There you go. Thank you all now. Now he's getting tall.